Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Cody Gibson versus Chad and Hellinger. Chad and Hellinger, 13 and 7, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, plus 145 underdog, 37 years old and 135, 5'6 five, with a 64 inch reach. Uh, Cody Gibson, tw uh, 20 wins, 10 losses, 2 and 3 in his last five fights, minus 175 favorite, also 37 years old, 5'10 with a 71 inch reach, 4 inch height with a 7 inch reach advantage for Cody Gibson. This fight's fun to me because you have Cody Gibson who has, what is that, 12 finishes and he also has 6 first round finishes. Has been submitted 4 times in his career but Chad and Hellinger, 3 submission wins. They're not in the UFC. He has, he's 2-2 two and two in the UFC. He has 10 finishes out of his 13 wins. He has 6 first round finishes. Most of them are by TKO or KO. Um, he has been submitted in, in himself six times. Now, if you look at it, rear naked choke for Jose Johnson. Long time ago. Rear naked choke for Michael Neal. And then it does, oh, a triangle by Noah Ali beat him or submitted him. So, yeah. This, this, this fight's weird because you have the power and the awkward strikingness of Chad and Hellinger. And then you have a guy like Cody Gibson who likes to put the pressure on you, put a, put a pace on you, and kind of try to mix in his takedowns at times if he can, can. But if he can't get that initial takedown, he kind of just sticks to the strikes. I really like him with front kicks. I really like him using that length. I think you, those front kicks are going to be key for him in this matchup. I don't really want to see him be brawling with N. Hellinger because I think the only way he keeps himself in this fight is if he's able to catch Gibson, hurt him a couple times, even if it's a round that Gibson's winning. If he plays too much in those rounds, even if it goes to a decision, he could lose the decision because of certain shots that connect by N. Hellinger, like big reactions or a drop or you know whatever it is. The most significant thing, he can make a decision weird. We've seen it before. I like Gibson. I think he's a little bit more well-rounded. I think there's certain positions he could really, really excel in in this fight. And again, I like Cody Gibson. That's my winner. And as always, my prediction, Cody Gibson, finish, or this fight would not go the distance. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.